North American traders, private TRFX, just going over the open and a little bit of a European rundown. Highlight of Europe was basically mildly weaker inflation numbers. Euro printed a new low, but didn't really like it down there. We got down to 09. Uh, now 27, kind of just floating around month end. Not too much interest there. Um, let's go to the Euro Yen. Difficult session. We, we got the open we were looking for when we broke those highs up to 30. But then the inflation numbers took us all the way down to 65. In mind the four hourly 200 day 200 unit here is at 60. It's kind of held. And now we're just treading water. 132.91. Going forward, one of the themes we were talking about in early Europe, and we're going to look at again here for the North American session, is this CAD yen. We have this daily setup here. We have sort of the double doji. Double in double indecision. We've got OPEC, which is going to make an announcement at five o'clock Central European time. We're watching crude closely, which is higher now, by the way. There's been some squawking out of uh, some of the OPEC fellas, saying most are in favor of continuing on with this lower output scenario for another nine months but we'll see just have to follow the price price is above 27 87 27 we're going to be entering longs looking for that higher cable's been pretty predictable try and just get some on dips trade around this range careful into New York, we're probably going to get below this 48 level, spook some guys, uh, but this is a buy, I think all the way down to 20, you can accumulate with a stop below 10, and just look for range trade here, have a look at the month end uh, fix, see what's going on with that, with stocks where they are, you could argue that might get a little bit of a dollar sell. Um, but we'll see 5, 5 p.m. Central European time for that. Swiss yen, again choppy, but now is behaving. We had to move up to 05, all the way down to 68. A bit ridiculous that. Uh, now, bullish engulfing through the 200 day at 91 looks like we got some clear sailing ahead there so same theme Swiss yen CAD yen We're trying to get long in these currencies short the yen finally I'll just mention it because it's been giving me some headaches in the last couple of days directionally we've been getting it right stronger pound weaker euro Today we broke the 200 day moving average, which is at 92. We've, print, we've printed down to 77 now twice, two different hours. Doesn't seem to like it down there. But you could argue you just need to be short this stuff with a pretty tight 95 stop or 01 stop. Sterling, Euro Sterling. Tricky SOB, that guy. Dollar yen, as we've been talking about, is again in accumulation phase. Try and pick up dollars on the low hand, low side uh, and be short the yen. Sort of dovetails with what we're trying to do with the Swiss and the Canadian dollar. Oh yeah, one last thing, speaking of the Canadian dollar. We've got trade numbers today. This looks well overdone. Surely there's going to be some risk here above... Uh, of 129.16. I do not recommend getting involved in that. Probably a fade, if anything. Um, but got to keep an eye on crude and OPEC and all these uh, all these moving parts today. But this looks um, 
This looks dangerously overdone on the day. Anyway, I'll leave it, uh, leave it at that. We will uh, see how these numbers come across. 2.30 Central European time, 8.30 U.S. time. And then we'll see what the nonsense at 5 p.m. for the month end fix. Good luck today. Talk to you soon. Ciao.